In this reaction, we have copper 2 hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. It's a neutralization reaction. And it's a bit of a complicated equation. We're going to make it simpler by using a bit of a trick. We have this phosphate group here, and then we have it again here. So we're going to count it as just one thing. That'll make it a lot easier as we add the oxygens and other atoms up. Let's try it. We have one copper. We have one oxygen times the two. That gives us two. And then we have one hydrogen times the two, plus these three out here. That gives us five hydrogen atoms, and then just the one phosphate. On the product side, we have three coppers, we have the one oxygen, we have two hydrogens, and then we have the phosphate here times two. So we have two phosphates. Let's leave the oxygens and hydrogens to last. That's usually a pretty good technique. And we'll put a three in front of the copper two hydroxide. That'll balance the coppers. So now we have one times three. That gives us three of those. And we need to update our oxygens and hydrogens. So we have two times the one, that's two oxygens, times the three, two times three, that's six. Hydrogens, we have two times the one, so we have two times the three, six, plus these three here. So now we have nine hydrogens. Let's fix the phosphates next. We need two over here because we have two here, so we can multiply this by two. That means we have the one phosphate times two. That gives us two of those. Those are balanced. And let's update the hydrogens here. We have two times one times three, six hydrogens, plus three times two, that's six. So now we have 12 hydrogen atoms. I think at this point, if we balance the hydrogens, that'll also balance the oxygens. So I have 12 here, two here. I'm gonna put a six in front of the H2O. Two times six, that gives us 12. Those are balanced. And then one times six, that gives us six. And those are balanced. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So we kind of use two tricks here. One, this phosphate, because it appears on both sides, we just count that as one item, and that makes it a lot easier with these oxygens here. And the other trick, leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. That's usually a good technique when balancing equations. This is Dr. B with CuOH2 plus H3PO4, and thanks for watching.